I don't know if you saw my video where I made these dragonflies. It's a really simple technique, and if not, I'll link the video at the end of this one. But it made me wonder whether on smaller wire things you can use the J Diction resin to make some dip flowers. And what I mean by dip flowers is making flowers out of wire, which obviously isn't my forte, and then dipping them in, curing them up, and getting them to look like a flower. Now, I did some practice with the high viscosity, the new formula, and the classic formula, and I couldn't get it to work. But let me show you how it worked with the low viscosity one. I've got my little jewellery mould here to make cabochons. And I'm going to use that to make the centre of the flowers. Before I go any further, I just want to say a massive thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. And you'll hear more about FlexiSpot later on. And what I'm doing is popping a little bit of UV resin into this little silicon jug. And now what I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of mica powder and pop in there because I want it to be quite dark and black but I also want it to be a little bit sparkly and that will still cure up so don't worry if you have it too opaque it won't but that will and now I'm also going to pop in there a little bit of black glitter just to give it that bit more of a sparkle pouring that into my cabochon mold I don't want to fill it right up if you want it bigger than this you can make them bigger than this but I would suggest if you're going to do any deeper than what I've done this one cure it up in a couple of goes because that way your UV light hasn't got to work so hard to cure it get through so much depth first any bubbles there and then cure it up now I'll cure it up for about three minutes going down this way and then I'll fold my legs over of my little lamp and I'll cure it up for three minutes going that way and that way you can make sure that it's cured all the way through when it's quite a dark color like this and while that's curing I can prepare my wire. Now I'm going to do individual little flowers for this. I'm going to take my gloves off for this bit because I don't want my gloves to get split and to get in the way to be honest. And I'm using jewellery wire here. It's just an aluminium wire covered in silver plating I think. And what I'm going to do is wrap that around this piece of dowel like that. Turn, twist. So I've got a twisted leaf and I'm going to do my petals separately and I want to do five petals for each one. A huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video i use flexi spot desks all the time i've got three of them so to learn more about why you should get one of these check this out there are a lot of benefits to using a standing desk and this e7 is no exception and on the flexi spot website you can see what all the benefits are and it certainly really does help if you've got back problems and it is really good for your productivity as well during the period of the 22nd of may to the 26th of may they've got a brand sale of up to 30 3% off and all the links for everything that you'll need to get hold of a flexi spot desk are in the description below and you can choose different colors of the desk along with different colors of the worktop as well this is my first flexi spot desk and I use it in my crafting room and it's my cricket area and I can use it standing up sitting down when I'm making jewelry using my cricket it is brilliant I also have this one as well where I do all my admin and my editing and I spend a lot of time at these desks and I also have this one which is a brand new new one which is the third one I've got because I'm starting a new channel very soon I intend to be on camera for this one a lot so I may be sitting down but I may be standing up so it's really important for me to be able to have a desk that moves I've been crafting all day today but the great thing about the flexi spot desk is you can change your starts. You don't have to be sitting down. And now I've got those all done. What I need to do is just finish them off. Now you can leave them as double if you want. But I want to make them single stems coming down here. So all I'm doing is clipping off one of the bits here. On all five of them. And now all I'm going to do with these is just slightly change the shape. I'm going to bend them in like that. And then bring these bits in at a little bit more of an angle there. Just to give it that light, that ripply effect on the top. So they're not just round leaves. Now you can have just round leaves because that's quite nice as well. But you don't need to. And they don't have to be exactly the same shape either. Because let's be honest, there isn't any thing in nature that is complete well i don't know if there's not anything that's me making a big assumption but there isn't many things in nature that is really symmetrical so there we are there are those five done and they're all ready and now it's about mixing up my uv resin 
to have as a dipping resin. Now make sure you've got a pot or something to put it in once you've done it and work in an area as well where you are not going to have any UV light that's kind of come into what you're doing because you don't want it to be curing up. So what I've got is my UV resin in a little silicon pot and now I'm going to add six drops of a translucent UV resin pigment and give that a mix in. Like that. Now make sure you mix it in well because if not you will get those little veiny bits coming through it. Although that can look quite nice in some projects. As you know I've done that in a few projects where I've not fully mixed on purpose. And then you get these like little streaks of colour going through it. And then on top of that I'm also going to put some ultra fine glitters. Mix that in as well. Yeah, that's lovely and mixed. And then I'm going to pour that in here. Now I've already got some in here because this is where I was trying it and testing it. And then I'm going to work from this little pot. I'll keep this pot in the dark as well so it doesn't know what's going on. No, so it doesn't pure up at any point. It is different to how I did the dragonflies. It gives a great result on these smaller things. There's no doubt about it. And we've got a little bit there that is nice and cured as well. So we could take that out if we wanted to. And that's going to be the centre of our flower. So where I've given that a really good mix, I'm just going to burst some bubbles that have come up the top. Now this bit does take a bit of practice. So you don't want to have your light on yet. And all you want to do is, if you've got a shallow pot like me, you want to dip it in, pull it out nice and gently. And then you should get a cover like that. Doesn't happen every time, but you get there. And then just cure that up. It doesn't take long to cure up because you have got a really thin layer. So about a minute is enough to cure that up. Do. And then I double dip. Really does give it a lovely finish. Get rid of any excess that's on there. Let that drip off on the double dip. And then cure that up as well. And I move it around a little bit while it's curing. So it evens out all that glitter. And then look at that. That's all lovely and done. It should be nice and cured now. And then we can carry on and do the others. Well, these have all cured up lovely now. And they're ready to put together. And I need a third hand for this. So what I've got here is just a piece of oasis or flower foam. All I'm going to do is push that stem into there like that and it will sit there nice and happily. And now I need to think about where I want to cut these down. And I want to cut these down so it's coming out a little bit from there but I need enough of that wire to make sure it goes into the middle and sits on that black base. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. I really do appreciate it. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going. It, it just allows me to keep buying the stuff and being able to make things like this. Yeah, so that works now. Got no problem with that at all. And before I attach those, what I'm going to do is hold it like that and then put a loop in the bottom of the flower like that. Because then that gives it something extra to get gripped onto. Also want to say a massive thank you to all my members who I cannot tell you how supportive they've been to me recently when I've had something really major happened with my channel with somebody trying to rob me of my videos. They have been so supportive. If you want to become a member and benefit from all the perks the link for that is also in the description as well. You are wonderful people. All I'm going to do is pop a little bit of this low viscosity UV resin in the middle there. And now I can start putting on my flowers. Making sure that that, that little loop patches somewhere into that UV resin. I'm going to pop in another piece of UV resin over the top of those. And then cure that up. I'm not turning this into an earring or anything like that. But you could turn it into a brooch or something. I want it on a stem. All I've done is twisted two bits of wire together and flattened out the ends. And now... I'm going to pop in some UV resin over this and glue that all together. And that should all be stuck on there now. And now all we have to do is use our fingers. And we can bend these around. Like I said, you could have had more petals on there if you wanted to. But I think you've got a really pretty little flower there that's on a stem. I think perhaps about three more petals on there would have probably worked a little bit better. But overall, that works really well. And it saves your fortune on them dipping resins. I've also tried out some different leaf shapes as well. 
That was one that I made. I'm not very good at making leaves. That was one I made with clear. Another one with clear. So if you wanted it with clear, you could do exactly the same with the clear. And you could make leaves and things to go on there like that. Wrap them round. Another massive thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, boot that like button and hit that subscribe button too. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.